We're going to be doing a deep analytical dive on two Section 8 rental properties with the same rent, but we're going to look into acquiring them in two different ways. Dave and Kale, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I am your host, James Wise. And folks, if you're new to the show, um, this show is the show where I work together with you one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Now, we are the number one seller of rental properties in the Cleveland market. We have another show here on Holton Wise TV called the Investment Properties for Sale Show. In that show, we provide you guys with video tours, analysis, everything you need to know about rental properties in the Cleveland market. Then my team from a top town, uh, sorry, from a top down basis, we are able to help you invest in real estate. You could buy those properties right off the show. Uh, and then we're handling all the management, repairs, insurance, title work, et cetera. Now this show, it's a little bit different though, right? Unlike that show, in this show, we have not been hired by the sellers to sell those properties to you. In this particular show, you hire us and we work for you and for you alone. And the two clients I'm working with today, their names are Dave and Kale. And dudes, we have been going back and forth doing quite a bit of deals together, guys. Me and you doing some deals. You guys, my oil and gas engineer team down there in Texas, you dudes are pulling your resources, pulling your funds together, and you guys are building a rather large portfolio. Now, we're doing a lot of Section 8 rentals, and we're doing some burrs and things of that nature, and we're doing a lot of renovations, force appreciation. We're trying to stretch. You guys do have a, a robust amount of capital, but we're trying to stretch it as far as humanly possible. And what I got for you today, I got two houses. They're both very similar to the stuff we've been dealing with, the stuff that you guys like. And I thought this was going to be uh, pretty cool to do because they're both going to essentially amount to similar numbers, but we're going to get to them in different ways. And one's cool because one's going to be a burr, and then the other one is essentially the goal of our burr. So I'll show you guys two different ways to buy these because when we're doing a bunch of acquisitions all at one time, we're doing a bunch of renovations all at one time, I like to spread them out, right? We don't want to just do all burrs. Because then you're just like kicking money in, kicking money in, kicking money in, kicking money in. Nothing's coming back to you, right? With this one, we could kind of just pick this first one up, bring some cash flow in while we're renovating the other stuff. So let's jump into it, okay? 3720 West 41st, Cleveland, 44109. Just listed, okay? Been on the market three days. $68,900 is the price listed by Team Results. Let me get you dudes the pictures. What I love about this is it's already Section 8 occupied. Before we get to those pictures, the rent $1,065 a month, dude. So it's going to bring home $12,780 a year. It's a four-bed, two-bath. Now, typically in this neighborhood, a lot of these homes, I ballpark uh, the, the Section 8 rental price at around 1000 bucks, right? You know, every single time Section 8 goes out, they give us a rental offer. If you go to the FAC on HoltonWise.com, we've explained the whole Section 8 program. It's it's not smooth. It's not easy. It, it's 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 kind of a you know, bureaucratic nightmare dealing with Section 8, which is why most property managers don't do that for you. That's why we have a whole Section 8 program, a whole Section 8 FAC. It's dedicated uh, to trying to answer the ins and outs uh, of working with Section 8. Because of all of that, you know, the the confusion with the Section 8 program, um, you know, like I said, a, a lot of property managers, they won't do it, but we will do it here. And, you know, I generally say it's going to be about a thousand bucks a month in rent, but, you know, sometimes you can get two different Section 8 evaluators and they can evaluate a different price on the same home. 
uh, the market shift it goes up. So like we can't pinpoint it on the exact dollar amount, but it's it's generally around that range. I mean, we've literally had like identical type buildings with identical type units in the same neighborhood, uh, you know, get valued by Section 8 at different prices, dude. If you ask five Section 8 employees the same question, you're probably going to get five answers. So again, all that why a lot of other Section 8 uh, or why a lot of other property managers don't deal with Section 8. And that's why we've put together that fact to try to, you know, give you guys, you know, an understanding of what's going to happen. So with this particular property, right, the rent's a little bit higher than that thousand, you know, reason being probably because we have that fourth bedroom, we have that second bath, but a thousand sixty five a month and just, you know, cruising through the photos now, right? You know, just a, a decent, decent little single family house, man. Just a, a perfect little Section 8 rental, dude. The, the thing I love about this is we don't have to do anything. It's already passed. All the money's coming in. The government cheddar, dude. It's already right there for us, guys. Like, this is the end game. This is the goal, right? When we look at these distressed properties and we're, and we're trying to, uh, you know, put a bunch of money, lowball the sellers, try to try to get things going, uh, renovate them, force appreciate them. This is the goal. Our ultimate goal is to get a Section 8 tenant in there because 1065 a month, man, that is a ton of money. And right here, this is key, man. Big ticket items, right? Hot water tank, typically, they're going to last about 15 years. This one looks like it's only a couple years old, which is nice because that's $1,000. Uh, if you got to replace it, you do that by every 15 years. Furnace looks pretty new. I would say that's under 10 years if I had to guess. Um, and then I, yep, there it is. I was going to say, I thought I saw a picture earlier with a updated electric panel, which is what we do have. That's great. And just a uh, last photo here, right? So those are all our photos. So what's this thing going to look like performance wise, man? 1065 comes in on average guys we're gonna estimate we're gonna spend 433 of that every month on average not every single month that's gonna be the average monthly cost right so we're not gonna be doing a $50, $53 repair every month we're not gonna be putting $53 into capital expenditures right I just explained the furnace and the hot water tank cost and life cycle another big ticket capex item is the roof I don't have information on how old the roof is but that's something our home inspector is going to look at if we were to go under contract on this property because you dudes already know man the videos you do with me that's due diligence step one but after that we got to get an inspector in there to make sure we know uh roof on a house like this is probably about a five thousand dollar roof those are going to last about 30 years so that 53 bucks that's a saving for those big ticket items right and then the other stuff Taxes, insurance, water, sewer. This is a thousand sixty-five dollar a month rental, but we do cap our PM fees at a hundred bucks a unit, so you only have to pay a hundred bucks. So by having a, a higher rent priced tenant in a unit, you guys save a little bit on the percentage wise. One thing I want to show you though, the, j just so you know, the taxes. Okay, they're currently at four seventy-five. A year, all right, four hundred seventy-five dollars a year. If you go, if you Google the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, that's a guide where I've graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland area, right? A to F scale, guys. That's also the basis for how we sort out our real-time MLS feeds. So if you're going to the property search for sale tab on HoltonWise.com and you're interested in getting my broker access. Uh, the real-time MLS feeds, they're, they're separated into those categories. So I've pre-sorted it for you based on your risk tolerance, right? So if you guys want my access, go check that out. It's very cheap. Starts at only $29.99. And that's uh, a lifetime fee, not an every year fee. So that's a, that's a great product, right? But um, you'll see on that guide, I have also included the property tax amount for every municipality. Now, it's 2.79% in Cleveland, right? So currently, the taxes average out to 39 bucks a month, but that's probably going to go up because, uh, you know, at 2.79%, if you were to purchase this at the price I think you'll purchase it for, uh, which is 55000 I want to see you guys pick it up at 55000 The taxes would probably go up to around 1500 So just note that. I don't know what they're going to go up to because I don't know what the ultimate closing price is, and I don't know what the new county appraisal will be, but it's probably going to be pretty close to the new purchase price. So note that those are probably going to go up. But that notwithstanding, dudes, 
We're looking to average 632 a month as far as our NOI. And I don't want you guys to pay cash for this one, dude. Unlike the other ones, let's just go in with uh, with the loan right off the rip, man. All you guys are going to have to do is put down $13,750. And after you pay off your mortgage, dude, we're looking at a 40% cash on cash return. So, like, you know, let's balance this out with some of those big projects, some of those, um, you know, those big bird deals, right? Let's just go in, try to pick this up for a really good price, 55000 I think we're going to have the ability to get it close to that. Now, that's like best case scenario. If you got to pay a little bit more, that's okay too. But, you know, let's get in there. Let's negotiate with the seller. Let's fight for you guys. Let's see if we can get it down to fifty-five k. You guys just throw under fourteen k at the sucker, and then boom, just start collecting a solid return. And, you know, this will balance out a lot of the other big projects where you're just sending money out. So what I want to do now, my guys, is let's go to a, a word from the sponsors of today's show. Let me get a drink of water over there. And then we're going to get into uh, the next property, which is basically going to like end up with like the same type of numbers. But that one I do want you guys to burn. G'day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. All right, Dave, Cal, welcome back, bros. Now, what we got, 3441 West 63rd, Cleveland, 44102. This one, not a new listing. This has been listed for quite a while, 52,978 days on the market. Dude, this is a pretty cool little stat here. I don't talk about this that often on the show. Uh, this is just something that's totally crazy to investors who are new to the Cleveland market. Look at that. $32.65 is your price per square foot, right? You know, new construction uh, in the Cleveland market is approximately like around 175 to 200 dollars a square foot right so you know it's you're picking this thing up for freaking pennies man uh and we're gonna try to get it even cheaper than what it's listed at right they've listed at 52 9 78 days right it's been listed for quite a while and this is why and and this is like and these are the kind of investments i really like i really like investors who are aggressive like you guys who can understand and they could see that where, you know, there's not like apparent value. Like a lot of people want everything like ready to go, wrapped in a bow, like, hey, this is clearly a great investment, let's buy it. Well, you really, you do the best deals and you get the best money uh, by looking at like kind of crappy properties in, in, in crappy situations and, you know, we extract the value out. And this, this is a situation like that. I really love this, dude. This is like gonna be some hidden value for us. Now this thing, it, it, like look at the pictures, dude. It looks like shit, right? This kitchen sucks, right? Like, just a bunch of hodgepodge bullshit, right? You got fucking specks of shit everywhere. This counter's broken. This is the most hillbilly thing I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. They literally, like, cut the crap out of the door uh, frame to, to fit in this hodgepodge countertop, right? Like, this is just hillbillied up, and it just looks like shit. Um, like, there's just nothing appealing about this. 
And like, if I'm a homeowner, although the, the one thing I, I should say, that this is pretty appealing. The furnace looks to be fairly new, so that's in pretty decent shape. Same thing with the hot water tank and the electric panel. So the those three things, the three big ticket items, that is appealing, right? They're, they're fairly new, so you don't have to worry about that. But this is the cool thing about this house, right? It looks like it's just a crummy beat up rental, but it's not. You see, it's actually owner occupied, right? So other rental investors, they're not really focusing on this because there's no rental income coming in. And as far as like owner occupied buyers, A, in this particular neighborhood, there's not a lot of them. It's a lot of stuff generated by investors, right? It's a lower income neighborhood. But as you guys know from working with me, you know I love this neighborhood, right? It's right down the street from Metro. They're putting a billion dollars into this neighborhood. So yeah, it's a D-class neighborhood, but we got a billion dollars coming in. And that's, again, why we go with the Section 8 program, man. That's just going to keep us safe. Right. So no rental income coming into this property, though. OK. Right. So maybe the other investors are not paying too much attention to it. And then owner occupant buyers. A, there's already not a lot of them. And B, this house is just like hillbilly up. It looks like shit. Like who who is looking at this hodgepodge piece of shit property? Like, yeah, man, I can't wait to move my family in there. Fucking nobody. Right. And that, dudes, that's why I love it. That's why I think it's been on the market for 78 days and it ain't moving. That's why they can't fucking move it at thirty two dollars a square foot when you can't fucking build new properties for that price anywhere near that price right so the fact that this thing is just a fucking shit show is awesome because i think we are going to be able to come in and pick it up for thirty seven thousand dollars from this current homeowner give him his money get him out of there right and then we're going to budget twenty thousand dollars for cosmetic reno right I want to do premium upgrades in this thing. I want to make this thing look badass. So that means we're going to get rid of that fucking shit show kitchen. We're going to get rid of that fucking gross ass bathroom. We're going to have agreeable gray paint throughout. Nice finished hardwood floors throughout, right? No hillbilly shit. Everything's going to look good. We're going to get this thing to pass Section 8 inspection, right? So we should be able to do all of that for 20 k No problem. And our big ticket items, dude, they're already taken care of. Furnace, good. Hot water tank, good. Electrical panel, good. No issues there from what I'm seeing. So we pick it up for 37. We put 20 into it. Our total investment will be $57,000. As far as rents, it's, dude, it's just like the other property, right? It's a 4 2. A lot of times on these charts, you know, I would, I would just put like a thousand bucks because it, it could be, you know, it could be a few bucks higher, a few bucks lower. Again, for, you know, things I explained in the beginning of the show, like it's the Section 8 program, dude. It's going to be an individual thing, but it's basically the same thing we got with the previous property. So let's just run those numbers, right? 1065 a month or 12780 just like the last one. As far as what everything looks like, you know, anticipating 451 in average monthly expenses, leaving us with an NOI of 614. Now, this is the power of the burr, right? This is why it's sweet. This is why it's great. You guys have cash. And by the way, the fact that you have cash and the fact that this is just such a hodgepodge, shitty-looking house is also going to help us try to pick it up for such a low price, right? 37 k If we are able to pick it up for 37 put 20 into it, you dudes are all in for 57 That right there with the NOI I'm projecting, it's like a 13 cap. That's great. But... Our goal with this, and that's another reason, on top of wanting the best Section 8 tenants, on top of keeping our vacancy low, we want to do the premium upgrades in the kitchen and the bath, really bang it out, really make them look good, because we want to get a favorable appraisal, right? Just like uh, every single time you get a rental offer from a Section 8 employee, every single time you get an appraisal on a property, you're dealing with a different appraiser. And, you know, I've seen guys like have swings and appraisal values, too. So we can't always control that. But what we can do is put our best foot forward, try to get the best possible stuff in the property to really make it appeal to that appraiser. If we get a favorable appraisal, I think they'll appraise it at 65000 If they appraise it to 65000 what we want to do, have the bank give you guys your money, because that's the whole deal, man, with the burrs, right? The refinance, the key here, man. That's how we're going to you know, really increase that cash-on-cash cash return. If we get it to appraise at 65 k dudes, they'll give you guys 48750 You only originally spent 57 so you guys end up with only $8,250 into this deal. So you end up 
with this particular property, $5,000 goes back into your pocket as opposed to the other property just because you paid cash and you, and you renovated it and all that jazz. And that, folks, takes your cash on cash return up to 67%. So both deals are solid. Both deals have similar numbers. Both deals right in a pretty much in the same neighborhood, guys. Basically, everything on the end game is very similar, amounts to the same, but this is just two different ways we can do it. One way I think is nice, it balances out your big projects. You don't have to outlay a bunch of cash all at once, just like 13, 14K, boom, done, on to the next. And then we're focusing on this renovation. But hey, man, we pull in a lot more of our cash back into our pockets so we can continue building your portfolio. We increase our cash on cash return. So I like both of these properties for you guys. Based upon everything I've been doing with you guys thus far, I think you guys are going to like these as well. So reach out, uh, you know, respond to the the private email and the private link that uh, you're watching this on. And, you know, me and my team, we're going to get to work if you guys want to move on these properties, just like we've done with all the ones in the past. Everybody else who's watching this, if you're like, damn, dude, I, I want to do what Dave and Kayla are doing. I want to work with James. I want to work with James' team. This sounds great. What you guys need to do, Go to HoltonWise.com. I'll show you right here real quick. Let me pull this bad boy up. Go to HoltonWise.com. Click the Property Search for Sale tab. And then the Investment Properties for Sale show. That was the show I was telling you guys about earlier, right? That's the one where you could just bid right there. And uh, other than that, if you want to work one-on-one, -on -one, guys, just go here and click the MLS Search Analysis show. Pick up a package. If you want, scroll down here. You can watch any of the previous episodes you know, we pump these out. If you're watching this on Holton Wise TV, just so you know, though, Dave and Kale, they've seen this probably three months ago, right? I don't publish these live on Holton Wise TV until these deals are done. And then it just provides you guys with education. I believe uh, this is the 129th episode. And based upon uh, purchase packages from other investors, we're already contracted out into like episode like 250 or 300 or something like that so you know it typically takes us about two weeks to put a package together for you guys uh put a show together for you but uh you know the way it works is you gotta give us what you want to do a lot of people are buying the 10 property package and we'll do one we'll get into the deal we'll see how it goes and then you know we'll come back on the next one so it's very much a long-term product right so if you guys do the 10 property package with us don't think you just have to buy 10 properties right off the rip you know they don't expire, and, you know, we, we have, like, an account for you guys, and we track everything. You have a nice little digitized account with us. So, you know, you perk up that 10 property package, you could be working with us for a year to, to work on building up your portfolio, things of that nature. So that's what Dave and Kale did. I hope you guys do the same. That's all I've got for today's show, folks. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact, combined with the high price-to-rent ratio, is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee, as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.